All right, so here she is, the former UFC strawweight champion, Thug Rose Namajunas. Amazing what she was able to do against Ioana Yim. Jacek times two, another big spot for the 115-pounder here tonight. And John, for as impressive as that first young Jacek fight was, I believe the second one was even better because it showed the true evolution of Rose Namajunas. To be able to stand for 25 minutes and outstrike Ioana Yim, Jacek was truly, truly something special. Initially, she was one of those fighters that was trying all kind of things and wasting actions. Right. But now, as she won the belt, you saw her really find herself, and it showed in the second Young Jacek fight. Thug Rose Namajunas, ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her weight tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she's, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. the date for this women's bantamweight championship fight all right now for the official introductions we set it inside the octagon to bruce buffett ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening <laughs> Championship of the world. It's a decent match. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Fog Rose Narayunas. And now is the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed U.S. Back and wait, champion of the world, Amanda Lamarsh. And there's Herb Dean. Ready, he will ready. handle the action ready. inside the octagon. All right, with that, we are underway. Thug Rose Namajunas with Trevor Whitman in her corner. She's not afraid to have a little feeling out process here early. This is a fighter who gets stronger as the fight goes on. We'll see what type of start Nama Yunus can get off to here tonight. Oh, nice combination. Oh, is that a good right hand? What a beautiful bite kick. Oh, big elbow. All right, early round one action here and an early takedown attempt. Nice job by her to stay up right there, DC. She did a good job of getting her legs back to finish the takedowns. Now look for her to let loose on her feet and really try to find an end to this fight. Oh! Well, she's got a pretty high fight IQ, but tonight it seems to be all about aggression. She is swinging for the fences. All that stuff was left in the locker room. Michelle Blade is in the octagon. So Thug Rose Namajunas mixing it up pretty well here in the early going with her kicks and of course that pop the jab as well. Yes, yeah, she pops that jab. She's so fast and you can hear her corner telling her, Rose, stay on the jab, stay on the jab. 
She's so good at maintaining distance, and she's very tall for the weight class. Rose Namajunas has now figured out how to use her length to her advantage inside the octagon. Oh, she got inside and right to the single collar top. Man, her kick to the body there was a beaut. Both fighters throwing heat now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well timed with the short uppercut in the clinch. Wow. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. And that one certainly found the target. Just a slip there. Midway through round one. Nice punch land. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Lemos. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Right hand. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the next one. Fire there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in the play class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Big hit to the man! Oh, guillotine, guillotine here! That guillotine is tight! Oh, she's working hard for the submission now. This is a fight both women working really hard. Oh, somehow she gets out! I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Nice shots landing from the top position. Man, she has done her homework. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Oh! She's hurt bad, John. Big right hand there. Oh! High left. Oh! Under a minute now to go. Nice straight there by Rose Namajunas. Big inside kick. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. 30 seconds to go in this. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Gotta shore up the defense. Yeah, she's gotta move her head. She has not moved her head effectively. And now she's dealing with the cut. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh. Oh, she's hurt. Oh. What an end to round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom! There goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually, she will find that moment. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You got a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. 
really nice job blocking that shot. Slip that one. Oh, she's got to keep pressing now. Just missed on the uppercut. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going really from the opening ball. From the start of the fight, you could see that she was different tonight. You could see that she was going to move on the cardio, set a high pace, and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she is landing just about everything that she throws. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, and it's back in the fight can potentially win. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She doesn't have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. She's got the head trap now. Guillotine choke coming. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh she's out, and I don't mean unconscious. How did she escape? Oh, nice headlock. Oh, look out, that thing is tight. It's advancing, she's about to finish. Working once again for the sub here. She will not stop trying to get this finish. Good job by the champ there. He's lining back up. Memo gets back up. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Lemos's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Well, she's got a good jab. Missed with it there. Still stand. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon. Right. Oh, no. Well, that's takedown defense 101. She stuffs yet another shot right there. We told you off the top if she could stay upright. Probably was oh. Huge shot going on right here. <laughs> Under two minutes now to get. Oh. Gotta keep pressing. She's got her hurt. Gotta look for the finish. Oh, big left hook there. out there trying to end her opponent's night. All right, so it looks as though, yes, she's starting to deal with some swelling now, so defensively got to figure out a way to sort things up. She's tough, John. We know that she's tough. We've always known that she's tough. And she, what she has to do is she has to be a little bit more active in her defenses if she doesn't want to get all beat up. Defense held up there as she blocks that shot. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out on the line tonight, and it's made for a very fun fight. Guillotine jump! His eye is closing up. Ten seconds to go in the round. Lemos getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. All right, round three coming up next. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward.
All right, so she does survive to see the next round, but as we show you some replays, DC, nobody's going to be kissing her on the cheek anytime soon. <laughs> no, it's a nasty cut on the cheek. She got hit with some big shots, and they really have taken an effect on her. Look at the cut on the cheek, and it was that shot right there that opened up the cut. Ready to fight. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Trying to kick the leg out. Nama Yunus gets caught with that punch. Got to show up the defense here. Well, she has had her striking going from the outset, and she continues to invoke damage there upstairs. She said that her opponent was tough. She said that she knew it, but she also said that she thought she relied too much on that toughness, and she has exploited that. Look at her turn over a hip there into that nice head kick. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike now. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Nice punch from the clinch by Lemos. And finally, she gets the takedown. She stayed committed. At some point, she knew she was going to be able to get this fight in her wheelhouse on the canvas. Now let's see what she can do with it. Nama Yunus is in half guard. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Oh, another strike lands from the top. And now she's in bone. Lemos gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking, and she also has a pretty good gas tank. Straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the rope. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, nice kick. She gets to the single power time. Look for her now to drive uppercuts up the middle to do damage on our opponent. Oh, take down there. Nice transition. Oh, from her attack. Yup. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. Oh, tremendous escape by her there. Beautiful submission defense on display by this young lady. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bison. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she's in there... Fruits are higher there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike. But you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. She slips that left hand there. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lemos. And now some separation between the two athletes. Lemos is blocking pretty well now. Oh, another one. Big power shot there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really fight her up now. All right, rubber guard for her now, so not a lot of fighters will go to this type of guard, and I would think that could pose some problems here for her. It would pose some problems, because most people are not used to it. So what she needs to do is just remember, I'm not in grave danger just yet, but I cannot allow my opponent to get going and get working in a position that I don't see very often. Lemos, she's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Oh, she's got her back. Work. Mm, that was nice. Lemos gets back up again. Twenty 
30 seconds left. Lands the front kick to the body. Now nice work on the feet by Namayutis. Final seconds of round three. She got absolutely starched by that huge shot just before the final horn. So she goes back to the stool now. We'll see the extent to which she can recover. As many of you know, 60 seconds, not a lot of time. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of there. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. Ready, I thought it was over. Ready. She landed it perfectly. Yeah. Usually that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, she landed another strike to the bottom. Oh, she hit her back. Finish her. Finish her. Oh, nice elbow. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice bubble leg, yes. Nama Yunus is in half court. She is reading things pretty well defensively as she's able to dodge that strike on the ground. She's got her eyes open and she's very aware of everything coming in her direction. Lemos has got full mount now. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Well, she has had no answers for her on the feet and there's another land and more swelling there on the face. More swelling on the face and, and John is getting worse. And now it's getting pretty evident that if she does not change something, she's gonna find herself in a really difficult situation going forward. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. I'm trying to prevent the half guard, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard, throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. Well, Nama Yunus is kicked. That one blocked. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, my goodness! Under three minutes now to go in the round. Great shot. Right to the Take down land. Yunus is in half guard now. Making all these shots count. Well, Nama Yunus is back in half guard. Very comfortable here. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking to pass, trying to get to the next position. Good work from the top here by Rose Nama Yunus. Oh, crap, Fox as she reverses position. Oh, nice. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and he just gets up. Under two minutes now to go. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to get their backs so that she can chase her submission, or they're going to lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Well, the visible damage on her body really starting to develop now. She's got to answer some of these body strikes or this fight's going to end soon. Well, she's got to block something in return. You can't wait until the attack is finished to try to throw something. You can't wait to try to defend. you got to be first. got to be first with your offense if you want to deter your opponent from going to these body shots. All right, 
see now as the cut continues to get worse, it appears as though it's starting to affect her a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect her. You can see it. She, she's reaching for it. She's pawing at it. She's trying to understand where the blood is coming from. She has got to stay locked in if she wants to win this fight. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Yeah, that's it. Breathe, relax. Clean punch. Again, shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuff. Beautiful body kick land. Another big body kick land. She's still standing. Oh, 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 saved by the bell. Oh, huge oh, shot oh, stunner oh, just oh. before the end of the round. And now you see her walking back to that stool, a little bit unsure of herself. We'll see if her corner can get her head back in this fight. Might have been on the wrong end of a 10-8 there at the end of that round. Huge knockdown just before the end of the frame. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that round. She's tough. She's durable. But she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth yeah. and final round. Left hook to the head. And follows up with another one. Just unable to quite find that range. They're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh! Try to establish that jab. of the year unless of course you like defense a lot of damage being doled out on both sides a lot of damage being doled out both of these women are doing a great job of standing on the corner standing in a phone booth and just beating each other up it's going to come down to the heart though to determine who wins this fight fight's over oh Rose Namajunas finishes the job wow she got that respect and then she capitalized on it holy smokes All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Fog Rose. All right, so what an effort tonight as we congratulate Thug Rose Namajunas. It's hard to just say.